Hi friends, a warm welcome to my YouTube channel Future Midwife. How you know where we have reached our sessions? In the last session, I have completed the mechanism of labor. That means we are still in the second stage of labor. So once the baby has delivered, both the mother and midwife take a deep breath. From the mother's side, her effort has completed. From the midwife side, she has completed only half of her job. Still, she need to perform the management of second stage of labor. So therefore, today I am going to take a topic, management of second stage of labor. So we will start with today's section by explaining the aims of management in second stage of labor. There are two aims. The first one is to achieve the delivery of a normal healthy baby with a minimal physical and psychological maternal effect. The second aim is to recognize and manage the abnormalities during the normal course of delivery. As a midwife, there are two main principles we need to keep in mind while conducting the labor. The first principle is assist in the natural expulsion of the baby slowly and steadily. The second principle is to prevent the perineal injury. That means the midwife has to take a precaution to prevent the perineal injuries during labor process. The management of second stage of labor include there are four general measures. The first one is patient should be in bed. The second one is constant supervision of mother is very essential. Third one is to administer analgesics if the mother is not cope up with the pain. The last one is vaginal examination. The nurse has to perform a proper vaginal examination in order to examine the progress of labor. Here I will explain about the preparations for delivery. The first one is positioning. Proper positioning is very important while conducting the labor. The second one is nurse and obstetrician scrub up and put on sterile gloves, mask and gloves. Toileting the external genitalia and inner side of the thighs. One sterile sheet is placed beneath the buttocks of the patient and one over the abdomen. Sterilized leggings are to be used. Essential aseptic procedures are remembered as three C's. The three C's are clean hands, clean surface, clean cutting and ligation of the coat. The last one is to catheterize the bladder if it is full. The management of the second stage of labor will complete once she finish the three phases. The first one is delivery of the head. The second one is delivery of the shoulder. And the third one is delivery of the trunk. For conducting the delivery of the head, midwife has to follow the two principles. The first principle is to maintain flexion of the head. The second one is to prevent its early extension and to regulate its slow escape out of the vulval outlet. In order to conduct the easy delivery of the head, she has to follow the following steps. Encourage the client for the bearing down effort during uterine contraction to facilitate descent of the head. To maintain flexion of the head during contraction when the scalp is visible that is about 5 cm in diameter. Encourage the client to bear down during uterine contraction to facilitate descent of the head. A firm perineal support is given with a pad or gauze. The forehead, nose, mouth and chin are borne by extension. Immediately the following delivery of the head, the mucus and blood in the mouth and pharynx are wiped with a sterile gauze or a bulb sucker. The neck is palpated for any loop of the cord. If found loose enough, it can be removed. If it is tight, it should be clamped and ligated and the baby's shoulders are delivered. Do not be panic in delivery of the shoulders. Wait for contraction and watch for restitution and external rotation of the head. This indirectly signifies that bisacromial diameter is placed in anterior posterior of the pelvis. During next contraction, the anterior shoulders is borne behind the symphysis pubis. Place on each side of the head and deliver the anterior shoulder. 
by drawing upward traction of the head the posterior shoulder is released from the perineum after the delivery of the shoulders the trunk is delivered by lateral flexion here we can discuss about the precautions need to take for the prevention of perineal laceration the first one is more attention should be paid not to the perineum but to the controlled delivery of the head delivery by early extension is to be avoided spontaneous forcible delivery of the head is to be avoided to deliver the head in between contractions to perform timely episiotomy to take care during delivery of the shoulders as the wider bisacromial diameter emerges out of the introitus after the delivery of the baby immediate newborn care also very important so once the baby has delivered need to keep the baby in a sterile towel then she has to perform some immediate newborn care i will explain one by one baby should be placed on a tray covered with a clean dry linen with the head slightly downward soon after the delivery maintaining thermo regulation suctioning to clear the air passage maintaining cardio respiratory functions oxygen may be given as needed until the infant cries vigorously apscar score has to be monitored properly clamping and ligation of the coat documenting urination and passage of meconium administering vitamin k prophylactic eye care has to be given promoting parent newborn bonding took check is made to detect any gross abnormalities apart from that midwives has to do the normal measurement of the newborn which include weight length head circumferences chest circumferences and abdominal circumferences keep the baby under the warmer cover it properly with a sterile towel breastfeeding has to be initiated within 30 minutes it also helps to improve the bonding relationship between mother and child this is the brief description of management in second stage of labor there are few more point i left out which i will take it in the next section in the next section i will take third stage of labor and its management till that take care bye bye